everyone, welcome back to Fam Funk. O'Neill here. I'm Char. I'm Snacks, and today we are going to do a video. Um, we were challenged by Tomorrow Comes Movies to do the Funko 5 challenge, so all three of us are going to do our five pops of the categories. Um, and first we're going to start off with The Human, and my choice was the Baskin Robbins Steve which is still one of my favorite pops. I'll spend them for you for now on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the reach. <laughs> yeah. All right, who wants to go next? I have bronze Michael Jordan. <laughs> so... That's an awesome pop. Yeah, I really like the bronze one. I like the other ones too. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in Canada though. We didn't get like... The sticker, the so locker sticker, yeah. that was kind of disappointing, but I still, I have all four of the Michael Jordan Pops. Yeah. Awesome. All right, for my human pop, I went with <clears throat> Jack Eichel. One of my favorite hockey players right now and plays for my favorite team, and it's the only pop they have. So, I really like this pop. So, there's our human pops. Next um... up is Alien. Alien, Shana. so I'll go. Um, I picked the Hot Topic exclusive Stitch Valentine. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we have a cat. Let her down on the first <laughs> bed. <laughs> sorry, we have a cat running around in here distracting us. <laughs> Very cool. And I have E.T., the extraterrestrial. I uh, really love the E.T. movie, and Neil brought this home with his collection, so he was nice enough to sell it to me. So I was super happy to add E.T. to my collection. Yeah, that was a hard one to let go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for my Alien Pop, I went with also a pop that I recently just brought home in my old collection, the Elvis Stitch. So both me and Snacks both went with Stitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool pop. <laughs> Awesome. So there's our aliens. Cat's taking a nap. Yeah. And the next category, is everybody ready? Yep. Alright, the next category was animal. So I went with the flocked head wig. Do you want to spin that one? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> so distracted by this cat. <laughs> I really like this one because, I don't know, it looks really good, all the details on it, and it looks really nice with the flocked furry stuff. Yeah, I just wish he was a little bigger. He seems yeah. kind of yeah, tiny in the pop. box. Yeah. Uh, speaking of small pops. Yeah, <laughs> the next pop that I have, speaking of small pops, is <laughs> Gus Gus and Slipper. This, once again, was part of Neil's collection that uh, he sold to me. So, I really um, like the diamond and the glitter pops, so I figured that this would fit in really nicely with those pops, just because of, like, the shine and the glimmer. So, for my animal pop, I went with Roger Rabbit. Nice. Love, love this movie. Love the look of this pop. He's a rabbit. Yeah, good He's an animal. <laughs> Alright, there's our animal. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Such a good movie. Next um, up is our robots. Um, I picked the Funtime Freddy Chase from from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Right, um, it's failed every time. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll get it on the it's, last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's one that I recently picked up, but I don't have many robots in my collection, so I thought I'd throw that in for that category. To show it off a little more. I have uh, actually from Sister Location as well, uh, Ballora. She was a dollar store pickup. Uh, my collection right now is in shelves and boxes, but the <laughs> shelves are multi layered, so she was the most accessible. <laughs> first robot um, you saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really actually have a lot of like robots um that I would say maybe I guess I could have went with like venomized iron man for a robot, but yeah. once again I didn't want to disrupt the collection and the yeah. the stacking sorting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, for my robot, I went with RoboCop. Just pulling out the big guns now, guys. Sure. <laughs> 
very cool pop. Obviously, classic movie. Robocop. So, there's our robots. And lastly is Mythical Creatures. So I, of course, went with my, with my favorite pop at the moment, the Flocked Fox. Ooh, you Essence. did it. You <laughs> did it, Neil. You did it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my favorite pop right now in my collection, so... And it was perfect with the mythical creature category. I got to throw it in another video. So, yeah. Yeah, my mythical creature, um, actually kind of a, a weird story is that on the way right now, because I collect the diamond, um, pops, I have the abominable snowman coming in the diamond, but it's not here yet. So I'm going to go with Mira from nice. the dark crystal. She's an elf or an elfish creature. <laughs> Once again, from the Comic-Con, I was able to kind of pick these up and use my hot cash, so that was awesome as well. Always love to save a few dollars on Pops. All right, then up last, uh, I don't have a lot of mythical nice. Pops in my collection, but... Uh, yeah, I think this is the, like, one we struggled with yeah, the most. Yeah, this was definitely the hardest category for me. And Char, this was actually the first one LaShawna knew. <laughs> so... There's Gizmo, and so there's our five. Yeah, and um, we are going to challenge, let me grab my paper here, um, three channels to do this challenge. We're going to challenge Smoke Go Smoked Golem 31 Very to good do channel. the challenge. Um, let's talk about Funko. Are uh, there a new one that, a new channel we just started watching? They have a lot of, like round table discussions and stuff. Really cool channel. Yeah, they're really good. And, um, Funko Preacher, a long time supporter. So we yeah. thought we'd put him in this challenge too. So yeah, that's our, uh, five Funko challenge. And... You should check out all of those channels and, uh, subscribe to our channel as well. Yep. And make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when we upload. And yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.